Hey, so this is uh, Carl Catholic, English, French, Spanish, three languages. So here we're talking about why Sola Scripture is wrong. Why is it wrong? Okay. So basically, uh, when I talk to Protestants, even when I was a Protestant, I uh, I got I I uh, I understood from them that they that it was the Bible was the only authority. But as I started to discover uh, in like Timothy, the, the biggest one that's clo even close to it, might be close to it, but it's still far, is Second Timothy 3.16 and 17. So we're going to go into that verse. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for training, for reproof, for correction, and for training for righteousness. 17. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work, period. So this part is about two verses. We're going to go through the verses and um, on on the traditions that our apostles, uh, Jesus' apostles gave, because they didn't have a Bible at that time, at time at that time. So we'll just go through the verses and read them. Okay, that's it. Second Thessalonians uh, two thirteen. For this reason, we th also thank God without ceasing, because when you receive the word of God which you heard from us, you welcomed it, not as the word of men, but as, it is as in truth, the word of God, which is also effectively works in you who believe. Second Thessalonians 2.15 Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you are taught, whether by, whether by our word or by epistle. So, uh, Book of Acts 8 Eight twenty nine. Before that, it's um, the spirit is telling them to go to a certain town, to Philip, and on verse twenty nine, he says the spirit said to Philip, "Go near and overtake this chariot." So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, "Do you understand what you are reading?" And he said, "How can I understand unless someone guides me?" And he asked Philip to come up and sit with him, and place the scriptures which is read. So I'm going on to the next one. He started to explain to him, and then he, he converted to, to have Lord Jesus as his Savior, personal Savior. So it's it's by the church because there was no there was no Bible at that time. They only had the Old Testament. So it was the church uh, through Philip and the apostles. They had the authority to um, interpret the the, the Bible. What was taught through through the apostles and through Jesus, okay, and we see that in the uh, church fathers' letters, passed from where they had letters, but they didn't have a Bible because the Bible wasn't even uh, compiled. Even Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, in the Bible, we see he never asked that the apostles uh, compiled a Bible, but they they did anyways, or maybe you know. So this is this is what uh, in summary was what, what I have to show you. Um, like I say, uh, many Protestants I talk to when they say, "Okay, you believe in Bible, uh, Bible alone authority, but where, where is the proof?" And so they give me this one in John, uh, Timothy two, three, sixteen, seventeen, but it says nowhere does it say. Or some are even embarrassed; they don't even respond to me because they're embarrassed. You know, so this this is wrong. But you know, our priests every every mass when we have. They hold up the Bible as the one of the authorities because it's God breathed, but it doesn't say we should go by that alone, you know. So they, they gave authority to the church, but uh, what I admire about the Protestants and like we the Catholics too uh, is that they the, revere the Bible very much, and that's very good. But it's not the only authority. Uh, at the final, as was I, I close. I'm going to show you just a few of the churches who started your church, and why. So many have interpreted the Bible their way. Even when Martin Luther started uh, his Lutheran church, then there were others that were trying to interpret it another way. So God never intended for that. It was one uh, church, one faith. I think I'm going to give you the, the Bible verse for that. 
Jesus wanted unity, but there is not unity. Even in, in the Protestant churches, there's no unity. Everybody is interpreting it their own way. They are making their own doctrines. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, contact me, and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to answer them, you know, uh, always with kindness, because we are Christians. Uh, Christians. All right, thank you. Thank you.